Welcome back to Fishing Planet. I have been asked to do this video. We're going to be covering pickerel. And then after this, I also have one covering catfish. Then we'll move on to other species, different areas. But we are at Mudwater River in Missouri. And I've chose to spawn down at the pike challenge because we're going for pickerel. Looking at the species here, we have chain pickerel. We have grass pickerel. And that's about it. But the way, like, I don't really target just pickerel. I'm normally going for bass and pickerel bite my line. But there are certain spots where pickerel will be more active. So if we quickly jump in and take a look at my gear, I'm running the Elemental 8 foot 6. I have the Esperus Slim 1000 and I have the 0 0.008 or the 0.2 millimeter mono line with a half ounce casting spoon. The reason I've gone with half ounce is because I've done a fair amount of largemouth bass fishing here and with the quarter ounce bass jig and the quarter ounce casting spoon I haven't actually managed to ever hook onto a bass that's over the size of like 2.1 pound and they go up to like 4.7 pound being trophies at this river so I'm trying to increase the size of my lure, increase the size of the hook hopefully increase the size of the fish, it doesn't always work like that but we're targeting pickerel. This is all you need. Just a nice little casting or a spinning rod. This one's a spinner. Then you need a nice little spinning reel with some decent line and then casting spoons or there's a load of different stuff you can use. If we look at the chain pickerel, small minnows, shiners, large minnows, and then casting spoons, medium spoons, shads, crankbaits, poppers, walkers, frogs. There's probably some other stuff they bite as well, but I'm using a casting spoon I wouldn't really use a bait to go for pickerel. They are worth decent money though, and some decent XP. But we're at the Pike Challenge spawn location, and I'm just looking around for splashes to see activity, which I'm not seeing much of at the moment. Just make sure I've got the elemental equipped. We have... I was actually casting... Because when I was going... I was targeting catfish here and getting some largemouth bass at the same time. I come over to this area just to see what difference it makes and I hooked on to I think it was three or four different pickerel and they were one after another there was no fish in between I think I actually equipped the wrong line because I believe well we can have a lot more line on this I need to see if I've got any other mono on me but we're going to be twitching just to see what fish are about if any because it's literally 5.07 a.m. And the peak time isn't until the afternoon because of the weather and everything. So it might be rare to get a bite. I'm just going to have to reel that in. I need to check my line. Because they would be right over at the back over there. Please tell me I have spare on me. Oh, I do. 196. I think that's the one I was using. And I just equipped the wrong one. So let's take that off quickly. The 196. I know my rod can take... Well, this reel can hold 196. I'm going to put the quarter rounds on just because I'm not sure if the pickerel were going to bite a bigger lure. But you can see how many splashes there are. So I'm, I'm going to go straight in the middle of all of those. Like right over here somewhere. I don't want it to be red. I don't want to be able to cast there. There we go. Perfect. That was a little bit over. We're fine. Let's try to stop and go for a cast or two. There's a bite. Oh, we've hooked it as well. Nicely done. I'm going to up my drag a little bit. This might be a bass. It's jumping a lot. Yeah, that's a bass. We'll take it. It's money back towards all the stuff that I've bought. I had like, what, I think about 16,000 in the last video. And now I've got 2,350. I've spent a lot of money buying different tackle to have no success but now I believe I have the right stuff to go for a big channel cat but that will be the next video this one's about the pickerel I'm hoping we don't hook too many bass but remember it's all about the spot you're fishing I, I could get 10 bass here move over to the right a little bit and it'd be pickerel city it's all about finding the right lure and exactly what pickerel are wanting to bite because obviously you can catch grass pickerel they're not the biggest of sizes 
But you can get grass pickerel even at Lone Star Lake, which is the beginning lake. But obviously, like I've done a lot of spotted bass fishing there. And I've hooked onto a few pickerel, but it's just about finding the lure or the bait that they're wanting to take. And as I said, I've never really targeted pickerel alone. I'm going to try twitching this cast though. See, if you can learn the baits and lures that the pickerel want, then you're in for a good time if you go to Emerald Lake and you have the right setup. Because they can be unique chain pickerel and they're worth quite a bit of money. There we go, fish on. I don't think this is a pickerel. It might be a bass again. <laughs> I might be doing a... Well, trying. it is a bass. I'm trying to do a pickerel video and all the bass are biting. When I was here, because I bought the license at 7.36am, it's now like the next night, but when I was here when I first bought that license, I was catching pickerel after pickerel where I am now with exactly the same setup. I'm not complaining about hooking on the bass though, just because they are very decent money. Oh, that's a bite straight away. This might be a pickerel. It's not giving me as much tension as a bass normally does. And the splashes, like the jumping, isn't as frequent. Because the pickerel do still jump. Here's a pickerel. We have our first grass pickerel. 0.751 pound. Over 15 inches in length. 51 bucks and 18 XP. Okay, let's see if we can get back-to-back -back pickerels. See, the thing is, they're carnivores. This isn't a pickerel. They're carnivores, so they mainly feed on other small fish. So it might be worth trying bait fishing for them. Although you can catch them on lures, and they do like a lot of different ones. Maybe if you're a high enough level, you can get yourself a frog or something. I don't know. There's loads of different ways to catch them. That's the best thing. You can try it. It is a pickerel. It's a nice one and a half pound chain. 105 bucks 37 xp i thought that was the biggest i think that's the biggest from this river but i believe i got bigger out of emerald lake in new york as i was saying the best thing if i can just i'll just cast it there you can just try a mixture of different things and just see what works out it's not all about like you don't you're not supposed to go to a river and know exactly what to do like there are certain situations Going for target species, you'll know a lot of it, but there might be a day where the pickerel were like, no, I don't want a casting spoon, I want some minnows or something like that. Or they could just be sat there and like, I don't want to eat today, I'm not going to bite. Please, oh, we actually managed to hook it. No idea what this is, I'm hoping it's a pickerel. There's a jump. I'm thinking this is. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, there we go. Long, thin body. Nice chain, just over a pound. 25 XP, 71 bucks. You are going straight in the net. And I think we'll go for one more. But it's been good in this spot. We've had consecutive pickerel. Let's see if we can get one with back-to-back -back casts. I'm going to stick to twitching because that's what's been working. See, the hardest part is finding the spot. Once you found the spot... There should be a decent amount of fish there. What's happened to my lure? Oh, we had a bite. And no, I just completely missed it. The tension, that was probably a baby of whatever it was. Because the tension just wasn't going up. That's a fish on. Absolutely no tension. There's a little jump. Don't jump straight away. We've got ourselves another pickerel. Oh, a little diddy grass. 0 0.683, 46 bucks, 16 XP. So they're quite decent for XP. And the money's not too bad either. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there. We was using a quarter ounce with one o hook casting spoon. In silver, obviously there's different colours and things. And we did catch a couple of bass beforehand. But then I found a hot spot. Which if you guys want to try the same area. It's a pike challenge in Mudwater River. And it's to the left of this like rock here. At the end of my rod. Just over kind of here. That's where I was catching them. But as I said, like this river is pretty big. You can, there's three different spawn locations. I might actually be able to run over to Last Songs of Summer. Aha, here it is. So you can actually run to and from the different areas. So you can try in a few different locations on this river. Down here, there's been good for me for largemouth bass, even though they've been smaller sizes. But yeah, that was just a look at the pickerel on the game. If we quickly take a look, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to get two videos out of one trip because I'm going to do the catfish one here as well. 
But if we quickly take a look before we wrap it up, in the fish keeper, minus the two bass, which is about two and a half pound. So we caught just over four pounds worth of pickerel. And then the four that we did catch, two grass, two chain, were worth maybe what we have 70 and 50 is 120 like 160 say 165 about 270 bucks worth and there's a decent amount of xp as well like around 90 xp or something but that's just for four fish and as i said they weigh just over four pounds so if you can fill up a net like mine with pickerel it wouldn't take you too long it probably took me five minutes or so to catch those once i found the spot not even that but it's a good time going for pickerel. As I said, when you get up to New York at Emerald Lake, you can get chain pickerel that are unique, and I think they weigh up to like £7. So they can give you an amazing fight, and obviously bring you in loads of money and XP. But that's going to do it for the video. If you've caught some pickerel before, let me know the biggest size you've ever caught in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.